hello again everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Sin and Punishment 2, Successor of the Skies. This, as you can see, is take two of this because I died a lot of times on this stage. And uh, now let's just continue. There, there wasn't an uh, open cinematic or anything, so you haven't missed anything. You just begin in this forest after Isa has been teleportified or whatever. Because if you recall, in the last part, Isa disappeared and... My nunchuck isn't working. Thank you. I guess it thought I uh, unplugged it. Yeah, if you have watched the other parts, you know that my nunchuck can be a bit buggy sometimes. I guess it's a faulty wiring or something. I'm not really that into uh, this stuff, so I have no idea what the fault is, but... It's probably something, seen as, seeing as it doesn't work as it should. Also, these monsters are annoying. They're like... Darkness Ninja Purple Monsters! There are a lot of purple monsters in this stage. Trust me. And I don't like purple monsters, because they are very annoying, like every single other enemy in this game. You know, enemies are annoying, almost always. Unless the ones that give you good goodies when you when you defeat them, and there are not that many enemies that do, at least not in this game. There are some. Okay, I just totally missed with my sh charge shot. That sucks. At least I uh, know how uh, how the controls work. When I first started this in uh, take one of this episode, I didn't even remember how to shoot. So yeah, you you don't want to know how much I failed in, in that case. Well, the good thing about these monsters though is that they're not very uh, strong health-wise. They're uh, they, uh, I mean they can uh, deal quite a bit of damage, but but they're not that str uh, strong. You know, not not that healthy. They don't have that much health, so basically you can just shoot at them for about two seconds and then they're dead. These eyes shoot flames at you, or not eyes, but eye monsters. Yes, I'm just adding the suffix monster to whatever they look like. Um, th these monsters, anyway, the one we just passed, the ones we just passed. If you approach them, they shoot fire at you. And these are the purple head face monsters, not head monsters. They are very annoying because they come in big swarms. If you destroy all of them here, you get a medal, I believe. Or I'm pretty sure, because I did it before. In uh, take one, though, I missed every single one of them, and they came and ate me. No, they don't actually eat you. You don't have a cinematic for that or anything. It's just... I imagine them eating me once I'm dead. Not me, just Isa. Whoa. Die, purple face monsters. See? A medal! Yay, I have some knowledge of this game, at least. getting pretty intense. You know, if you ever played any bullet hell game, it, it, this genre is, is often called bullet hell. The worst one is Tuhu, if you've heard of that. There are bullets everywhere, and your main goal is avoiding them. I don't get what's so fun. Oh my god, what the- This is just sick, not in a good way, it's, it's morbid. What? Ew! Ew! Oh god! Who came up with this? Ugh. Ugh. Apparently those creatures have like one instinct and that's kill everyone and everything. Oh no, 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 I don't like this boss. Or wait, this boss isn't so bad actually. It just picks up a ball of those head monsters and throws it at you. It's hard is that, um... Oh my god. Uh, I guess hard isn't the right term, but its weak point is that ball in the middle of all those purple head thingies. If you can see it. Whenever he shakes the ball, it regains some of the purple face thingies. So, uh, yeah. As you might have noticed, whenever I, whenever I shoot at that ball, he gets damaged. Which you can tell from the health bar at the top. And this is going pretty well, except for the fact that oh, I only have 27 damage. 
I mean, help, not damage. Ah! Ah! Don't throw your ball of weakness at me. Yes, that's a ball of weakness. That, what? That's the official term for it. No, it's not. Don't quote me on that, please. Oh, yes, I got a medal! I have no idea of how I got it, but I did get it, so... No hard feelings. It's almost dead. Please, don't let it kill me! Don't let it kill me! Ah. It's almost dead! Come on, just let me kill it. I believe there's a checkpoint after this boss, so... Please! Yes! Yes! Commander bonus! 39,000 titans! 15, I don't... Oh, it's because my multiplier is 15. Health pack! Yes! I am so good at this game, yes! Or, uh, I'm not. What the? Zombie hands. I don't like zombies! Ah! Ah! It reminds me of Psychonauts, uh, if you've played that. Whenever you jump into the water, a big slimy hand comes out and grabs you. Except, now it's in the ground and you don't even have to touch the ground, it just tried to murder you anyway. More of the Shadow Ninjas! Yes, very original name for me. Ah! God. Explode some more things, please. No, don't. I don't like to get explosions. Or, let's just say I like explosions, though they can be a bit annoying at times. <sighs> this is a really bland environment. Just grass everywhere. Oh, apparently those are exploding containers. Why didn't I notice that before? Let's just cut some grass, shall we? Yay. I'm like a lawnmower, only this isn't a lawn, and I'm not a lawnmower. So, I'm not like a lawnmower. Never mind. <sighs> I guess you get that medal. Uh, as you might have noticed, I got a medal just now. I guess I got that because I destroyed every single one of the containers. I don't know. There's probably a guide for that somewhere. Oh! Here, you want to cut the grass before they come at you, because if you don't, you're going to have to do that while you're fighting them. Because, you know, if, if you shoot... Um, if you shoot towards them and there's grass in the way, you only hit the grass. Uh, here, you want to... I believe you want to hit the uh, white one, but I don't really know. I, I Or it's just you have to hit both of them until they're dead. Well, since it's not officially a commander or boss as such, I guess it's just supposed to be a normal enemy. Yay! I blew one of them up! Now there's just the evil green one left. Ugh! I don't like the evil green one. And, uh, apparently those monsters that I called fiery eyes, or whatever I called them, those monsters weren't eyes at all. Oh no, not this boss! Ninja Keeper! I don't like it. I think I've said that about every single boss so far. I don't like this boss! I don't like this boss! Yeah, I say that all the time. This keeper is, uh, sometimes he just randomly gets, um, invisible. I believe. Please get invisible too. And uh, he plants grass too. He, he's not just the ninja keeper, he's the garden keeper too. Ha 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 ha! See what I did there? That was really funny. Oh no. No, giant rock turtle monster. Oh, this sucks. Though, I was just gonna say this uh, rock isn't the, uh, the uh, commander, but apparently it is, too. Apparently you can hit both of these to drain the health bar. What? I have 4 HP left! Well, that's great. See, no, he's uh, invisible. Or he teleported himself, whatever he did. How many health bars does he have left? Well, now it, there are two right here. I believe, I believe, I believe. Whoa! Uh, as soon as he comes close like that, you're gonna wanna hit him with a sword, because then he flies back and uh, crashes into the rock monster to deal massive damage. So, uh, that's just a pro tip from my side. Except, I'm not a pro, but it was a tip anyway. <clears throat> And here's where he grows uh, wings and comes at you, and you attack him with the sword, and he dies. That was surprisingly easy, even though I only have 4 HP left. I did it on the first try. Hmm. 
Now you see, if, if, if even L.B. Samuel M. can do it, then so can you. Though, it's not an easy boss. Yay for wasting a charge shot. Also, these weeds, they're enemies. Everything is enemies in this game. You see the ground? It's an enemy! No, it's not. Most of the things in this game are enemies. Oh! Don't touch me. Giant mouth frog pillar. Mouth frogs. That That's the worst name I've ever come up with. Oh well. I can't be awesome all the time. Or, of course, I can be, but I'm not. Sadly. And why is that rock monster in the background spitting fireballs at me? Like, seriously, does he have a throat burn or something? Yeah, probably. And I die. Duh. Hello again, and welcome back. Or not welcome back. For, that, for you, that only was a second or so. It was about a minute for me, but... Still long enough to cut, because uh, I don't want to make you watch that again. It was pretty boring, in my opinion. Though I do save save this um, all these recordings, so perhaps I'll put up a blooper reel or something later. Oh, yes, this this is the friggin' most annoying boss ever, and I say that all the time, but. This one, I had so much problems with this boss the first time I fought it. Seriously, it, it took me several hours to just beat this guy once. And uh, where is he? He just disappeared. Well, he'll he'll appear soon enough. I guess you have to navigate some some stuff be before you fight him. Yes, I believe it's around one of these bridges. Guy. Yes, it's here. This boss, he is so annoying, seriously. This guy, he does so much damage and throws attacks at you so rapidly, it's not even funny. <sighs> Perhaps I'll take him down faster this time, though. I don't know. Flying bone pants. Isn't that a nice enemy? No, it's not. Um, do we come to a waterfall now? Oh god. Is there a waterfall here? No, I uh I seem to recall there's a waterfall somewhere around here and you fight him there. But oh well. And this whole part where he's shooting lasers and these are shooting fire at you, this is just to drain your health for the big boss fight coming up. Here! Yes, I was right. There is a boss fight. Uh, I mean, waterfall. Oh, well. For some uh, damage in the beginning and a health pack, which is gonna help you greatly, uh, just reflect his missiles back at him and uh, hurt him just shortly before you begin fighting him. And also, if you, if you, if there isn't a target uh, acquired or whatever it says, uh, target something. A anyway, if there isn't a target mark whenever you uh, use a charge shot uh, you on a boss, then uh, you can't hit the boss there. So that's an, a pretty easy way. Uh, a pretty easy way to find the uh, weak points because uh, the charge shot only locks on to places where you can hit him. And there are red things on the bridge. Torches, I guess. <sighs> So yeah, this guy will jump onto the bridge, and then you can hit his, like, globule thingy. And that hurts him pretty badly, and I just realized I should have hit him with my sword, but oh well. You can uh, hurt him at some places otherwise too, but that doesn't hurt us, uh, that, that doesn't hurt us much. And occasionally he'll shoot these thorns. Just stay out of the way for, uh, from them. They shoot so repeatedly and do so much damage, they're not fun to get hit. And also this giant laser. Giant lasers are never good if you're not the one shooting them. Ah! No! To get rid of these, um... Uh, whatever they are called. I can't seem to remember. 
Anyway, to get rid of them, just use your sword. And I'm not doing this. No, I'm gonna die. Yes, I died. And we're fighting him again. This is going much better than last time. I actually managed to uh, take no damage at all until he had like 800 HP. So, um, yeah, going a lot better this time. And we're probably getting him, him down this time. Yay! 188 HP. 38 HP! Now he has less HP than I do. Just gotta wait until he takes down his thorn attack, because seriously, those thorns explode. And I miss. Argh! Don't tell me I'm gonna die. Yes! Commander bonus! And that was the Swamp Keeper. He is not a fun boss. I don't like this stage very much at all. It's uh, it's it's just dark, and the enemies are more annoying than usual. Yeah, it's not fun. Or I guess it's a it's a fun stage, but it's not the best stage in the game at all. There there is a very fun stage coming up. Uh, you'll see what I mean. Yay, more of these. Mm, trying this, I guess. And more of these totem guys. Oh well, this time they're not that annoying for some reason. And they give me health packs. Yes, health packs are way too scarce in this game. Check out that reflection. This water is mesmerizing. It's hard to tell which moon is real. decide how to use the power inside you. Look into your heart and use that power for what is right. But don't let anyone else decide what's right or wrong for you. Someday, you'll find a companion to help shoulder your burden. A companion? That's right, love. And don't forget, Daddy's not a monster, okay? Daddy's just... Daddy. Water reflects the past. What do you see in its ripples? The forest is by its trees. The sky presents the future. Its darkness foretells your death. Can it, lady? Let us out of this nightmare. Oh, child, don't you see? This is a world of your own creating. Your heart is responsible for what you see. Whatever, freak. Let's go. Next time on Let's Play Sin and Punishment 2, Successor of the Skies, we're fighting this lady, whoever she is. And uh, the cutscene you just saw before this one, um, it was uh, a little glimpse into the backstory of this game. I'll tell you more later. So, see you next time, everybody. Comment, comment, comment. Like, and perhaps even subscribe if you want to. Goodbye.